All right, there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. And so what we're doing is we're changing this into liters by dividing by a thousand. So you're going to do 35,265 divided by a thousand to convert that. And go a little smaller here. And some kids get confused and they put a thousand goes into three three times. It doesn't. A thousand doesn't go into three. Three is too small. A thousand doesn't go into 35. That's too small. This number over here has to be bigger than this number before I can go in one time. 352, still too small. How many times does 1,000 go into 3,526? It goes in three times. Three times 1,000 is 3,000. Subtract and get 526. Bring down the 5. Okay, now we're going to say how many times does 1,000 go into 5,265? Well, it goes in five times. Five times 1,000 is 5,000. And you subtract again, get 265, that's your remainder. Okay, that number goes in here, 265. And the answer is 35 liters, 265 milliliters. Do you notice anything about this and this? Pretty simple, huh? Okay, how about this one right here? 10 liters, 945 milliliters is equal to how many milliliters? This is the opposite of the last one that we just did. There are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So you're going to do 10 times 1,000 to figure out what that is. We're not dividing, we're multiplying. Count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 times 1 is 1. So this is 10,000 milliliters, and we add on our 945 milliliters, and we get 10,945, and that's our answer, 10,945. Got some other conversions here for you in case you forgot these. There's a thousand millimeters in a meter, thousand grams in a kilogram, a thousand meters in a kilometer, a hundred centimeters in a meter, and 16 ounces in a pound. Now that's not metric, but you're going to see some problems like that in your math, so you need to know that conversion rate. 